Here are three key strategies for cyclists over 40 if you're looking to dominate the hills. Tip number one is just make sure you use a mixture of seated and standing when climbing. So a lot of people prefer to just stay seated while climbing the hills. Other people like myself prefer more standing when it comes to climbing, but incorporating a combination of the two will just allow you to perform a lot better when it comes to tackling those climbs. Staying seated on those long and steady climbs is going to help you conserve energy and pace it, especially if it's one of those alpine climbs that is going to take you a good hour or so. So depending on the climb itself, think about whether seated or standing is going to be the best option for you. If the climb is more punchy, short and sharp, then standing might be the best option to be more aggressive when it comes to the climb, as opposed to seated. And obviously if there's a variation within the climb, more steady long efforts and short sharp efforts, then you incorporate a mixture of seated and standing to get the best out of your performance while climbing. And most of all, focus on what makes you the most comfortable while climbing. If you prefer seated to standing, then spend the majority of your time seated in comparison to standing. If you like me and prefer standing while climbing, then you might want to go for a bigger gear if you're looking to be standing a little bit more as opposed to spinning the legs in a higher gear high cadence while seated but practice a variation of the two and over time you will find what's more comfortable for you when it comes to your climbing abilities tip number two and one thing that probably a lot of people neglect when it comes to climbing is your fueling strategy so make sure you're fueling well before during and after your rides but especially when it comes to the climbs that you're going to be tackling on your ride you want to make sure you're well fueled leading up to your climbs because generally while climbing it's going to be a lot more challenging to fuel your body while you're under more of a demanding effort while climbing. So make sure you consume at least, at least 60 grams of carbohydrate per hour during your ride. So by the time you get to any sustained effort on a climb, you're already going to be well fueled, well hydrated and having good energy in reserve in order to tackle that climb to the best of your ability. And even before heading out on your rides, make sure you get a good breakfast inside you with some complex carbohydrates, some lead proteins, and some healthy fats in order to provide the body with adequate nutrients and fuel ready for a challenge ahead. And tip number three, just make sure you set realistic climbing goals and track your progress. If you head out on a similar route and tackle similar climbs, then it's a good way of monitoring your progress. You can always check and track your Strava PBs and see if you can get close to those or relatively close to those on each ride. And obviously if you're proving and the times are coming down and that's a good indicator that performance is improving. For me, in order to improve my climbing ability, I'd go out on the same route, which tackled about three or four climbs within the space of about 50 miles. So it was quite a lot of climbing in a short period of time. That just allowed me to tackle similar climbs on a regular basis, allow me to get more comfortable with the climbs themselves because they varied quite a bit in gradient and length. And by doing so, it allowed me to plan my fueling most efficiently, ready for the climbs ahead. It allowed me to understand pacing and it allowed me to get more confident in terms of when I could push harder. And it also allowed me to be more confident in terms of maintaining my consistency and effort throughout the climbs and throughout the route that I was doing. So anytime I came across those hills in a group ride, I had loads of confidence, I knew how to pace them, and I was able to tackle them at the best of my ability. And sometimes more aggressively, especially in a group ride when you're being a bit more competitive with your mates. So practice similar routes, similar climbs on a regular basis on your own. So you get more comfortable with pacing it how you would understanding what kind of gears that you want to feel most comfortable climbing in. So that way, when you do come to cycling those hills with your regular group rides, you know exactly what's comfortable for you so instead of trying to follow everyone else and maybe going off too fast or not going hard enough at the start and being dropped. So practicing on your own a lot, you become more conditioned and confident in your abilities to tackle those climbs as best you can in the future. So start applying those three strategies if you're looking to dominate your climbing ability this year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to learn how you can climb like a pro, then check out this video here.